Our first visit is in Dr. Shobe's hospital where he will speak about the virus and its symptoms. Hi, good afternoon. Respected Sister Mercia Principal, Gloria to Convent, uh, beloved teachers and all the students. I'm Dr. Shomi Raman. I welcome you all to Children's Hospital today. Please come over. Coronavirus is an RNA flu virus which has been known to mankind since the last more than 100 years. But recently, we have realized that it doesn't cause sickness only in mammals and birds, but it can also cause sickness in human beings. In the 21st century, we saw a variant of this same coronavirus causing sickness in human beings in the form of SARS, S-A-R-S, Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome in 2002. Again, exactly after 10 years, this coronavirus came back as another variant which caused MERS, M-E-R-S, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. Now this is the third time this coronavirus is coming and attacking the mankind in the form of SARS-CoV-2. SARS-CoV-2 is the virus that causes this COVID-19 disease. How does this COVID-19 sickness spread? This COVID-19 spreads from person to person through droplets. And we have realized recently that this coronavirus can also spread through airborne. And how does this uh, spread take place? When a sick person coughs out, sneezes out, breathes out, the virus comes out in the ear, which can also go directly to the person, the next person, and cause infection. Or it can also spread by touching the surface which is contaminated by a sick person. Say whatever, say you use together a sick person, supposing he has held a pen, a pencil, and somebody who is not sick touches that pencil and touches his nose, mouth, that virus can get inside you also. So what are the signs and symptoms? Few of the signs and symptoms of this COVID-19 are cough, fever, sore throat, body ache, loss of smell, loss of taste, diarrhea, fatigue, you feel tired with no reason. And in more severe cases, you're going to difficulty in breathing, we call it shortness of breath. The spread of this coronavirus sickness by declaring a place as a containment zone when somebody from that particular place is uh, found to be sick. And the most important thing to contain this sickness to prevent the spread of coronavirus is remember three W's wearing mask, washing hands, and watching out distance. We have to stay six feet away from each other. Wearing mask. Now I would like to say something about wearing mask. Now there are three types of mask. One is the homemade cotton cloth mask, which is the least effective. Second is surgical mask. And the third is N95 mask. Now, N95 mask is for frontline workers, those who come in contact with COVID patients. Now, for common people, we recommend this double masking nowadays. I would like to demonstrate how to put this double mask. First, you put on the surgical mask. Please do not touch the mask. Use the straps. Put it on like this and you can adjust a little bit. Never touch the mask without sanitizing your hand. After touching the mask, again you'll have to sanitize your hand. Now you can put the cotton cloth mask over this surgical mask. Why? Because the surgical mask usually is not properly fitted in the margin. These margins are loose. From where the ear, when you breathe, your ear can go out from here and it can infect others. The same thing, it can come inside from here. So what we do is, we recommend all of you to put double mask nowadays. The cloth mask should be outside, the surgical mask inside. So when you put this cloth mask over the surgical mask, the edges are firmly heated now. So when you bring out, the air will come out only from the needles. It cannot leak out from the sides. The same thing when you breathe in. 
And when you discard this mask, let me show you how to discard. I'll put on my mask. I'm putting on this surgical mask because when I put on N95, you will be audible probably. Girls, please dispose this mask by cutting away these straps. These straps are becoming a nuisance in the environment. The animals, the birds can get entangled there and it can be a risk hazard for the environment. So we dispose it properly in the proper uh, dustbin like that. Now the second thing, avoid closed space, avoid crowded places, avoid close contact as I have seen, always six feet away from each other. Mental State has given out different helpline numbers like 108, 1070. Indian Academy of Pediatrics, uh, Meghalaya chapter also has given out uh, different helpline numbers, especially for children. You can capture the screen and uh, for any queries, any trouble, any problem, you can always call these helpline numbers. Thank you very much. I thank you, sir, from the core of my heart and appreciate you for making time from your busy schedule to speak to the students. Thank you once again.